Let's have a look at what it takes to run the motor. This green block here is the run the motor block and in this case uh, the engine is set to channel B. There's a number of different options within that. Geez, it's clunky sometimes clicking this button. So B, C, D, A, B and C, D. I think these may apply to the Technics Lego stuff. Uh, but at any rate, it needs to be on B for us. So we'll put it on B. And 50 is actually the percentage of um, the speed of the engine. And you can see here there's a dial that you can use up or down. And you can see the numbers will reflect the, the slider. So if we take it into negative value, um, that'll make the train go backwards. If we take it into positive value, that'll make the train go forwards. You can use this little switch up here to switch and actually put uh, numbers instead. So there you go, we've set the engine B and then you need a starting flag that you need to attach to the front of it and that's the simplest thing that you need to do to run the engine. So there you go, the train is now doing its thing and we're at 60% engine speed. This is a bit flat, actually quite a lot flat, so fresh batteries would see it just about falling off the tracks at 60% because it'll crash at 70%. Okay, so now let's say you wanted to do something like um, uh, do a soft start or put, yeah, put a sound in. So the sound are under purple. Let's put a train whistle because everyone wants a train whistle. And there's a number of options for your train whistles. Oh, that's coming up good. Okay, so you press the button there and it'll open up another little sub. Come on, clunky menu. I hope they sort this out. Just um, so here you go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Okay. They sound good. I'll leave it on number two. And so now if we played from the beginning, we should also get the train to honk once. buttons are so clunky. So yeah, there, there it is in a nutshell. Um, if you want to do something a little bit more exciting, like um, I've, on this area here, you can zoom out and move stuff around. I've got this one sitting here that I made before. Um, it's hard to grab when it's zoomed out so far. Let's just move this tab onto the front of it. And so this one will set the train in motion after a five second timer so you can see the timer there so the timer's done the five seconds and off it goes doing a 38 percent and then it'll do that for 10 seconds it'll honk the horn and then it'll speed up again so a nice little way to automate your train and to keep it going rather than have it just uh, stop or do the continuing thing at the end you encapsulate it in a loop you can see that yellow thing that's grabbing the whole thing. And yeah, this will just loop around and run the train. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you like the content.